Hi, my name is Kelsey Brianna J, and in today's video of Style Kindly with Me, I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial using black owned vegan makeup products. entire world is makeup and I love all things glam and luxe. And today I wanted to incorporate my love for beauty with Black History Month and so I figured it would be a great time to do a vegan black owned beauty makeup tutorial. So I have products from so many different brands here that I'm going to be doing this entire tutorial with and I think that it's very cool that I have so many options to select from. During this process I've learned a lot about what qualifies a brand to be vegan and cruelty free. And so all of these products fit into that description. So let's go ahead and jump into the makeup tutorial and I'm going to walk you through step by step on how to create this beautiful look. So I'm just going to take a few squirts of the Fenty Beauty primer and apply this on my face. Now I am not the biggest primer person meaning I use primer but I don't necessarily feel like I need primer every single day but I do love the effect that primer can give your skin. So I'm just going to prep the skin by applying this right in the center of my face. And this primer is a hydrating primer so it's going to give us a nice hydrated look. Great prep for the skin. So I just did a little bit of that. I don't need a whole lot. I just put it right on the area of my face where I feel like it's a little bit drier and I want it to be a little bit more plump. So now let's get into some foundation. And I'm going to use the Oma Beauty Say What foundation. And I'm going to apply just a little bit of this all over the skin. I love this foundation so much because it is custom to my complexion. This foundation has different categories and in every category, the ingredients are a bit tweaked. It's customized based on which kingdom you're in to fit your particular skin needs as a whole. And I think that is the coolest thing. So I'm just going to apply this foundation all over. I don't feel like I need a lot because two pumps gives me all the coverage that I need and I still have some left over that I'm just picking up and packing on. And the shade match of this foundation is really great as well. Next I'm going to use the accompanying concealer from Oma Beauty. This one is the Stay Woke Concealer. So I'm just going to add just a bit of this underneath my eyes just to brighten and lift them. Yes. Concealer just gives me all the things that I need to make my complexion just come alive. I love concealer. It's one of my favorite steps of my entire makeup routine. So I'm just going to blend this out with a sponge. I love this concealer. It gives me a nice, beautiful amount of coverage without leaving me looking cakey. I'm just blending this down and flipping over my sponge to make sure that it's blended really nicely with the foundation. So now I'm going to set my under eye using the Juvia's Place I Am Magic setting powder. I like to set my under eye with a loose setting powder just because I feel like I can really pick it up with my sponge and press it in. So I'm just taking my sponge directly into the product and I am going to press that on right underneath my eyes and this is a yellow powder so it's going to give me that nice brightening effect so just a good amount like that the sponge just melts in the powder i love it now i'm going to dip into the fenty beauty pro filter pressed setting powder and this is technically a powder foundation so i would not take too much of this powder to go on top of your foundation and concealer and all that good stuff but I enjoy using a setting powder on top of my complexion products just to lock in that product and it also gives you just a little bit more coverage. Plus I really do enjoy the finish of a powder. I just feel like it makes everything look super smooth and velvety and it gives you that really nice cashmere skin effect. Beautiful. So now let's continue on with our complexion and add some bronzer. So I'm taking the Minted Beauty Bronzer in the shade Beach Bum, which is a beautiful golden bronzer. It gives me such a nice sun-kissed effect. So I'm just going to take a bit of that in the hollows of my cheeks just to warm up the skin and I like to take bronzer and use it in place of contour because I find it to be a bit less harsh and it looks more natural like I've been outside on the beach being a beach bum. 
So I love that and I love this bronzer so much. The shade of it is so perfect. It's a beautiful golden bronze and it doesn't make me look red, which is something that I really appreciate. Once my skin is bronzed to perfection, I like to go in with a little bit of blush and I'm taking another product from Minted Cosmetics. It's a blush called Peach for the Stars and I think that name is absolutely adorable. So I'm just gonna take a bit of this color and pop it on the cheek area. And I love a peachy blush on my complexion and other women of color's complexion because it just warms up the skin and it brings it to life. It looks so natural. Who would think a peachy blush would look so natural? But I promise you it does. It looks so lit from within and this formulation of blush is just impeccable. So I absolutely love that and I think it looks very beautiful and radiant. Just a nice healthy glow. So I'm going to take a highlighter by Fenty Beauty and this one is a really cool highlighter formulation because it has a lot of shimmer in it and it feels almost like a powder gel hybrid. So it's going to give you a nice beautiful wet look to the skin. So this is a diamond balm formulation in the shade How Many Carrots and I'm going to take just a little bit of this with my fingers and just press it on the high planes of the cheek. Oh it's so pretty. Oh my gosh. It's so subtle that you don't even realize that you're applying it until you look at your face and you're like, oh wait, I applied it. <laughs> so now that I have my complexion all together, I'm going to zoom you all in and let's do our brows and eyes together. So let's start off by applying some brow products. So I'm going to use a brow pencil by Minta Cosmetics and this is their brow or later pencil. I first go in with the spoolie side and I like to brush my brows in the direction that they grow. I just want my brows to look full so I just go in with light handed strokes just to give a little bit more depth to the brow and add the illusion that I have more hair there than I do. So once you have your brows completed, now let's move on to the eyes. I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Eye Primer and I'm going to apply just a bit of that all over the lids. I love how eye primer gives you a little bit of a tacky feel to help any type of eyeshadow adhere a little bit better and it really helps to boost that color and makes it a little bit more vibrant and it helps with preventing creasing which nobody wants creasy eyeshadow ever. So for eyeshadow I'm going to take the brown bombshell eyeshadow quad by the lip bar. So I'm going to start off by popping into this nice mid-tone brown and blending this out in my crease and above my crease as our transition shade. So this is going to help us achieve that really nice flawless blended look that you see and love and this step is going to play a huge part in the end result because it gives you a really beautiful diffused look so I'm just going back and forth making sure to blend this eyeshadow out and then blend it up gradually to where it just looks like it fades away next let's take the shade cinnamon same brush and apply that right on the very outer corner just to give even more depth and create the basis of our eye look. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up this same shade and add it on the lower lash line as well. All the way across, you're just going to diffuse that color on the lower lash line. You don't have to be really heavy handed with it. Now I'm going to take the shade Toast and pack that on the inner corner and blend it over towards the lid. And I'm not going to take this shade over all of the other eyeshadows that I already applied. I'm just going to bring it up to where it is blended out and diffused with those shades so there is no line of demarcation. But I just want this to be a really nice, beautiful, soft application of this gold color. Now let's dip into Spice. And in this area where it's a little bit of space left, let's go ahead and pack that on and just finalize the look. So let's do a little bit of mascara. I'm gonna take the Fenty Beauty Full Frontal Mascara and just apply a few coats of that. My lashes need the volume and they need the length. Mascara is on. Now we are almost done with our look. Let's go ahead and add some lip liner. I'm gonna take another product from Minted Cosmetics. This one is their lip liner in their nude lip pencil. So let's just rim our lips. Yes, honey. I live for a good lip liner. It gives you such beautiful structure. For gloss, I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Beauty shade Honey Waffles. I'm just gonna pop that right in the center. 
love my lips together. And here is the finished look. So I hope that you all enjoyed this tutorial as much as I enjoyed creating it. What do you all think about the look that I created using vegan black owned beauty products? Let me know down in the comment section. I absolutely love this look. It is so beautiful. It's very warm, but it's still very glam, even though it's a bit neutral. Neutral does not equal natural. We can have a really bomb look and that's very evident because I'm loving this. Make sure you all support black owned businesses, not only just during Black History Month, but every month. Because as you see, there's so many gems within these businesses because all of these products are absolutely amazing. So make sure you tell me what you learned and which products you absolutely are gonna have to grab down in the comment section. This is Kelsey for Live Kindly. If you enjoyed this video and you wanna see more like this, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. And I will check you all in my very next video on my channel, Kelsey Brianna J. Super, super soon. Smooches. Bye.